Welcome, 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 people, to our first ever episode of the Cookies and Cream Show, where I am your boy, Cookies. And it's your boy, Cream. Yes, and what we are going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is give you the news and reviews of movies. And Cook Cream, over here, is going to tell us what our movies are. Alright, people, I'm going to let you know what we got on the list for today. Our first movie will be in theaters, which is 21 and over. And our second movie will be on DVD, also on Blu-ray, also on digital copy, also on ultraviolet, and all that other crap. And it's Twilight. <laughs> it is Twilight Part 2, Breaking Dawn. And yeah, we're going to talk about that movie and more on with 21 and over for the first one. Yes, and 21 and over stars three main characters, which are played by Justin Chan, who plays Jeff Chang. And Miles Seller, who plays Miller, and Skylar Aston, who plays Casey. And for those of you who might not know who Skylar is, he was in a little well-known movie called Pitch Perfect. Yes, I just found out that mm -hmm. today. He could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. And, and so, uh, in 21 and over, this is uh, a great, great comedy movie. It's, uh, it has two of the writers from The Hangover, so you know you're going to be expecting some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff happens the moment the opening scene rolls in. And, you know, there's wild buffaloes. There are crazy Latina sororities that are going to be in there. Dancing hippies. And then there's also the Tower of Power that has multiple levels of beard games. But despite all this, uh, the movie really hits home in your heartstrings uh, right towards the end. And the movie, you know, talks about how great friendship is and how... It can save a life as well as, you know, get onto your life. And it's also a story about growing up and not following uh, the direction that the world wants you to be in, but to live your life and be free. And so it it comes together right at the end better than you expect. And it, It's also rated R for mm -hmm. all these underage people. Yes, there is, there is a lot of vulgarity, and we do apologize. But despite that, it really is a good movie, and it will make you laugh. It does the comedy business really well, but it gives, uh, you know, a good message, bleh, overall. But my review for the movie is probably going to be a solid B+, plus because it made me laugh, and that's what you're supposed to do at a comedy show. And my boy has his own rating that he's going to give. Which is a... B minus. I thought it was pretty funny. Probably one of the best movies I've seen this year of 2013. Really funny. Mm -hmm. But we also need to watch the uh, Identity Theft to make sure. It's yeah, because that was the other comedy. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. And then our next movie on the list is Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2, which I know Chris just loved so much. And he's going to tell you how much he loved it right now. Uh, Twilight. <laughs> Yeah, I did not like that movie at all. I thought it was pretty boring. It was like half the movie was talking and then gives you this action scene that stole from X-Men 3, mm -hmm. which was just crazy stupid. Mm -hmm. That wasn't even in the book mm -hmm. at all. Nope. And I know because I did read all four of the Twilight books. Don't judge me, people. <laughs> and I don't like Kristen Stewart and her acting. Or um, lack thereof. <laughs> you know, I'm going to give that movie a straight up D minus for the movie suck D minus. Yep. You know he, what that means. He did not like that. I did not people. like it. Um, on my on my end, uh, I thought it did really well to the books and everything. I'm not saying I'm a fan of the movie. Don't get me wrong, but you know, being a book to a movie and being <laughs> the final chapter of the book to a movie, a lot of fans are sad to see it go, and it was a good sending off. But overall, it. <laughs> I didn't really like it, and I'm going to give it a C minus because it's just it didn't wow me or anything, and nothing will ever top part two of Harry Potter. So that's how that's gonna go down. <laughs> and uh, so another segment we're gonna want to do on this show is we're gonna give you the latest news on what's coming up this week in movies, and also stuff you should check out. And for our first movie that comes out this Friday is Oz the Great and Powerful starring James Franco. This looks like it's going to be amazing. If you haven't seen a trailer, we're going to be putting up a trailer on our page, so don't worry about that. 
and also Dead Man Down, which stars Colin Farrell and Terrence Howard from Hustle and Flow fame. And Hustle and Flow sucked too. <laughs> he didn't like Hustle and Flow no. at all. People from Tennessee <laughs> do not talk like that, people. At all. We don't sit there and like, man, I just want to get that out there. Yeah. Man. Straight to. And Cream over here has a trailer that he wants to tell you guys about. Alright, people. If you love superheroes, you know what I'm saying? You know, Iron Man 3 just released a new trailer which was super epic. I love it, man. It was sick, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I was in my undies, boy. I had the Iron Man undies on just like this. I ain't even had no gloves. I was just like this. <laughs> blasting on food. There, there wasn't even nobody in the room but me. I was just blasting. It was, I was excited. I was super happy about it. You need to check it out on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We're gonna post it on our Facebook. Yep. You know. Just check We're it gonna out. make sure you guys see this because it is something you guys need to see. A bunch of action at the end. You're just gonna be like, wow. Oh my gosh. Yes, Becky, look at that butt. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, our final piece of this review show is we're gonna let you know the top. The top five. Five. <laughs> top five. We're gonna do top five. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start it off with Jack the Giant Slayer with first place, and it did two, $27.2 million in the first week. Mm -hmm. And then number two goes to Identity Theft. That made $9.71 million, but that's been out for four weeks, and apparently it's really funny, which we really do need to go see. And third place is 21 and over with $8.75 million this first week. Not that great for... But, I, but I really hope that movie does better, because it really deserves to get better. And so number four, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, was <laughs> Snitch, and it made $7.77 million. And it's been out for two weeks. We got the fifth place. Chris hates this movie. Last Exorcism Part 2. Mm -hmm. Which don't make no type of six at all. It's supposed to be the last. It's supposed What's to be last one. You're making another one. <laughs> the movie made $7.73 million in its first week, which is horrible. Mm -hmm. Very true. True. Just shouldn't be done. Mm -hmm. And from what I've heard, it wasn't really scary or anything at all. But, you know, that's, we also want to let you know about movies that you shouldn't see. And that's been graded by both of us as a movie you really shouldn't go see. Medea movies. <laughs> I know all you white people out there love Medea movies. You need to stop that. Protest against that. I respect Tyler Perry. His, his, he, him coming up from being dead broke. That's true. Being famous, but his movies just be suck. You didn't like the Black Woman? The only one I like is Medea Go to Jail. <laughs> <laughs> she should have stayed in jail. They should have ended it right there. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's just my input on uh, That's good, thank you. And, uh, but, you know, this, this show is going to be hopefully as informative as well as entertaining, but that is sadly where we're going to be ending our review show, but we also want to let you know that <laughs> you guys are what's important to us, and I know we're going to get a lot of feedback for this episode. And it was not put together really well, but that's our fault. You know, we are new to this game. And each week we're going to get better and better. But, you know, we do, <laughs> and all honestly, we do want to review movies for you guys and make sure, you know, we know as consumers of movies and movie theaters that movies on a budget is very tough to see. And we want to make sure you get your money's worth. People, movie tickets cost $10, y'all. $10. You need to tell Tip County, somebody, to stop that. Knock it down by $8 or something. Because mm -hmm. I got kids to feed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have kids to feed. But still, <laughs> I'm trying to take a girl out on a date. I got to pay two tickets. That's $20. There goes the ticket. We can't even eat. Right there. <laughs> we can't even go out and eat. That's it right there for me. I think they're in line with McDonald's trying to get their sales. I'm just letting you know. You need protest against it. Mm -hmm. yep. Get on the moon. Right now. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, just check out our Facebook pages and our YouTube pages, which we're going to create. And, uh, you know, just let us know what we could do to make it funnier, better, you know, anything. And also, this is going to be a little side note, we are going to do Netflix movies, old movies, classic movies, kung fu movies, everything. Because we want you guys to be informed. But, you know, we're going to end it here. And as always, uh, at the end and beginning of each of our shows from now on, we're going to shout out to uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, none of this would be possible. Movies, cinemas, directors, anything. 
So we want to make sure you guys know that, you know, we are loved, you are loved, and just go there and give somebody a hug. I want to give a shout out to all the pretty white girls and Asian girls out there. I love y'all. And, yes. and the light-skinned girls. Cause you yes. can't have two dark people with each other. This is not going to work. Mm -hmm. Two nope. dark-skinned people is over. <laughs> but we want you guys to know, we'll see you next week.